Hi, my name is Duncan Tysall, Campaigns and Policy Assistant at the Campaign to Protect Rural England, and welcome to this episode of Countryside Bites. So I'm here today in Wanstead Flats, which is part of the London Greenbelt, to talk to you about the link between health and well-being and exposure to nature and green space. So I was lucky enough to grow up in rural North Devon, next to the sea, and for the last two years I've been working and living in London. And now every time I go home, I feel like this kind of stress that's built up inside me from being in the city for a long period of time. When I go out and walk my dog or go in the sea, I feel it all dissipating and I feel healthier and revitalised. I think it's become obvious to me that there is some kind of link between uh, being in nature and green spaces and health and well-being. So recently, the European Institute for Environmental Policy have compiled a huge literature review looking at this very subject. The report found that there is lots of evidence that suggests a clear link between exposure to green spaces and the countryside and health and well-being. Exposure to green space has also been shown to increase people's self-esteem, mental performance and to soothe anxiety. Children growing up with regular access to the countryside were also less likely to suffer from obesity or attention deficit disorders. It was also recognised in this report that some of the deepest benefits um, come from the most tranquil and calm areas of countryside. Back in 2006, CPRE did some work on tranquility, where we produced a tranquility map of England with some help from Northumbria University. These maps were created from various layers uh, based on people, what people said detracts and enhances tranquility. I think what's clear from these maps is that tranquil areas in England are under increasing threat from urbanisation, the growth of the road network and increased road and air traffic. While only just over 10% of the land in England is actually urbanised, about 50% of land is affected by some form of noise or visual intrusion. So in this time when stress and mental illness is on the increase, as are other diseases related to inactivity, I think it's more important than ever that we try to do everything we can to protect our countryside and our urban green spaces. The Greenbelt, for example, where we are today, is the countryside next door for 30 million people in England. So when we're making decisions about where we want new infrastructure or new housing developments to go, I think we need to view the countryside and green spaces for the health resource that they actually provide. Thank you for joining me today on this episode of Countryside Bites. Please get involved in the discussion in the comments section.